YouTube and um, today I'll be teaching you how to take your UMDs of your PSP and just putting them on our computer then putting them back onto your PSP so that way you can play your UMDs without having the UMD in. Now first of all to show you that this actually works let me just turn on my power to my PSP you have to have a CFW so as you can see with the little menu I do have CFW this is hard to do with one hand since I have my camera. I know it's all blurry and stuff, but now, I mean, what, yeah, I'll just click, select, select. Now, first of all, I'm going to put this on my computer. Anyway, so I go down to memory stick, you know, okay, or I mean X, whatever. I put on here Medal of Honor Heroes 2 and the Little Big Planet. I do own those copies. I'll show you. I mean, Little Big Planet, Medal of Honor, you know, pretty good games. I would recommend them. Anyway, did you actually work? I should probably just show you. I'll show you at the end of the video. I do work. So first things first that you're gonna do is go over, grab your UMD. Just check it out. Just you know, slide it in. Close it. Ow. Ow. Well, you do have to have CFW for this, um, so just let that read while this is reading. What you want to do is go all the way over to settings, USB connection. All the way over to settings, USB connection. Then you're going to want to click select. Now you're going to see where it says, U where it says USB device, how it says memory stick. You don't want that to say memory stick. We want that to say <gasps> UMD disk. Oh crap. Put that on the fault. Put that on the fault. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I can't believe it, but I accidentally changed the U CPU clock XMB. You never want to change it. You could screw up your things. Like I, I screwed up my PSP once by doing that. And we want this to be on UMD disk. Defaultly, it's going to be on memory, so we just put it on UMD disk. Click select. Let's close out. Click USB connection. Plug in your USB. Should help a lot. Just a, just a second. There. Right, anyway, now it's. Now, on your computer. Uh, I, I do have a screen recorder, but it doesn't work. It, like, lags and stuff, and I don't have a mic either. Anyway, it'll say something similar to this ULUS1, and then it's just going to say a number, then the drive that you have it in. You're going to open the folder. Now, in that folder, you see we have this file. It's called UMD9660. That's a, on my computer, it says it's a disk image file, but really it's a ISO I think that might be mean ISO over there. I'm going to drag that. Just drop it wherever you want. I'm just going to drop it on my desktop. Now, as you can see, anyway, now, you know, it's transferring the files, and it's, my PSP disk is actually running, so we can copy it. Anyway, it takes a long time to do this, like 35 minutes. Anyway, anyway, one, I already have this, so I can just cancel that. So I already have it. It's in a system folder over here. So once you install it, I'd recommend getting this um, PSP ISO compressor. I'll put a link for it in the description. It's right there. PSP ISO compressor RV1.4. Anyway, so yeah, I already have Hell of Honor Heroes 2 here. Just, actually, I want to just move that really quick. There. Anyway, so what you're going to do is I'll put this How to Get PSP Games written tutorial right here. 
So what I'm gonna do is go back into my PSP folder. Launch the ISO compressor. Cause I mean, this this file is like 1.4 gigs. So I mean, you want to compress it into a CSO. Press ISO, CSO. Now your input file. You're gonna put in the game. Sorry about my birds. I know they're loud. And we're gonna click the game that you want to compress. Click OK. And then it'll come up with the bottom file. Now with the bottom file, you can rename it. it just do not change this cs.cso into anything else. Right here, it says .cso. Do not ever change that. But I could change this to anything that I want. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot to mention this. Whenever it gets into your files, just don't change it when it's in here. Whenever your UMD thing gets into here, you can rename it to whatever you want so you know what it is and stuff, you know? Anyway. And you're just gonna nine for the best compression, which means it's gonna shrink it down to the best possible thing. Just compress it. Now, as you can see, I'm sorry that my birds are very loud. Now, as you can see, you see the compression right here. House has 47 and all that. That's how that's the percentage it is almost done. The average rate is about how much it's going per second and all that. So. Sometimes that'll be really hot, sometimes it'll be really low. Anyway, just wait for that to get to 100%. Alright, while I'm letting that compress, go back to our PSP. We're gonna X, uh, we're gonna X out of our PSP folder. We're gonna go into our PSP. Click, circle. Click, select. Pro VHS menu. We're going to change our device into something called memory stick. Click select. There. Now this thing is... Now that thing just finished converting and all that. Anyway. Medal of Honor CSO is right here. Wait. Anyway, in our... Wherever you saved it to. So yeah, I have the Medal of Honor to... Now... If you decided to take a look at the memory for it... I'd have to figure out how to do first, you know. Anyway, look at the difference between these two. After compression, before compression, before, after, before, after. Now, it shrinks that file, but it does not damage the thing at all. So, all right. Let me just... Now, as you already put it on memory stick mode, you go back into USB connection. System will detect it. We're gonna open the folder to view the files. Now, as you can see, let's just pretend this folder named ISO is not here. So while I'm reading of that, just, uh, just pretend that's not there because it's gonna take a while because I have some games in it. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a folder. You're gonna name it ISO. Open that folder. As you can see, I already have my two games in it. What you're gonna drag. Whatever game that you made, I'm just gonna drag it into here, just let it go. Of course, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it in there and it takes an extremely long time. So, after that's done, we can just X out of both of these. Go back to our PSP. Click circle. Go all the way over to games. Go down to memory stick. You click A. Or X, I say A because I play Xbox a lot. Anyway, after that's done, now let's say, here, let me just t temporarily take off my CFW. Now, you can only run these games when CFW is on, just to prove that. I'm turned off my PSP and turned back on. So my CFW won't be on it. So many computer entertainment. Now, Whenever you're doing this, I would only recommend doing it if you own these games. At least give the credit to them. But you know what? I don't really care what you do. So, anyway. As you can see right now, I do not have CFW on. Clicking select. Clicking select. Nothing's happening. So right now, I do not have CFW on. Anyway, you can uh, launch the memory stick. Without CFW, you see, we don't... That's just the update data. So that's why that's in there. Then we're just gonna, you know, turn on CFW again. And you have to have CFW on in order to play the games, so that's like the only downside of this. 
So yeah. Just, uh, let me turn on CFW, and then my CFW. I'll put a link for my CFW in the description. It's a very good form of the CFW. It's very easy to install and everything. I'll also put a tutorial of that, how to get it on here. Minecraft. Anyway, just to prove that this works now. See me, I'm pulling out my UMD. Anyway, we click A. You know, with CFW. Both of the games are in here that I put on. I'll just prove that they work. Just let you I'm gonna have to do this with one hand, so it's going to be hard. My hand might get a little bit lazy while it's loading and like go up to the screen or something, you know. Minecraft, yeah. Hey. Now the only downside is that whenever these things are, and they actually, without the UMD, these things run like heck loads faster. It's just telling me my load was successful. Wow. Multiplayer for this game just doesn't work overall, so I'm not even going to try and launch multiplayer. Campaign. Green. Because that's what I play on. Anyway. Yeah, everything works. I'm not going to start a you know, just because you think, you might think, oh, I'm just not going to show you the missions that way you think you're downloading viruses. I skipped that. It's loading. Loading! Please, do not leave any freaking BS comments about how my voice is or anything. So go F yourself if you decide to do that. I mean that too. I'll go after mom, just like I did last night. Anyway, so, you know, it's hard to play this game with one hand. As you can see, that all works fine. Now, the funny thing is, is because you download these games off UMDs and stuff and put them on your PSP, some games might tell you, do not remove the disc while while the game is saving and stuff. Then I'm like, what disc? So, yeah, it's pretty easy. It's how you put your stuff onto here. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, see you later. Bye.